What is going on, everybody? Tanner Pfeiffer here with Pfeiffer Football. Got some breaking news uh, with wide receiver Cooper Cup. Kind of unfortunate news here. Uh, he's dealing with the sprained ankle. So uh, enjoy the video, you guys. Going to try to give you all the up-to-date information. So... Cooper Cup dealing with the sprained ankle. Uh, I did zoom out the lens just a little bit, so hopefully, ooh, there might be an audio delay. I do apologize about that. Um, yeah, sprained ankle. He's considered day to day, but knowing Cooper Cup and just how he's been the last year or two with injuries, I would just why rush him back? Um, obviously, they're a better team with him, but. Puka Nakua, it is Puka Nakua season. He's playing great. Um, I really love Puka, but like I said, given the history of Cooper Cup and his, his I want to say this is not his first ankle injury. Let's see. Cooper Cup. Um, and he's already, the thing is, is he's 30 years old. He'll be 31 by the time next season starts. It's just weird to, to know that he has been in the league only since 2017, but he'll be 31 next season. Um, he was, I think, 23, maybe almost 24 as a rookie. Let's see. What season was it where he got injured? Oh, yeah, 2018, 2018 season, he was named a starting wide receiver alongside Robert Woods. Obviously, Robert Woods was great with the Rams. Um, Cooper Cup switched to number 10, his collegiate number at Eastern, uh, Eastern Washington, blah, blah, blah. 21, God, it was already 2021 where Cooper Cup won the triple, count, triple crown and the Super Bowl MVP. It's just hard to believe that it was that long ago. The 2022 season, he signed a three-year $80 million extension. Um, let's see. He had an high, a high ankle sprain, which required surgery weeks uh, 10 and he finished the 2022 season 75 catches 812 yards six touchdowns and now he's dealing with another high ankle sprain or an ankle sprain i don't know if it's the same ankle or not i didn't watch the press conference with sean mcveigh but just knowing how he is with ankles and, and i don't know there's not much to go off of here other than he's day to day, but I'm, I think they're being very, very generous with that whole day to day thing. He may play, he may suit up, he may be active for this next week, but I mean, given the circumstance of almost any other player in the NFL who's been dealing, dealing with high ankle sprains or any kind of ankle sprain, they're usually out at least a few weeks, right? Um, there was a couple at the beginning of the season. They said high ankle sprain, you're out like four to six weeks. So I don't know how you could be day to day unless it's like not a severe sprain at all. Um, Cooper Cup was also placed on IR due to a hamstring injury. So he was not active, I think, for the first four games of the season. He came back week five against the Eagles. Like he's just been dealing with injuries since the 2021 season where he had the triple crown. Um, so the last two years just kind of riddled with injuries. Um, and it just seems to be heading that direction. He'll be, like I said, he'll be 31 next season. He's still signed until the 2026 season, but now you got guys like Ku, uh, Puka Nakua. You got the uh, guy they drafted, what, two years ago? Um, he's kind of stepped up a lot. I'm totally blanking on his name right now, but they've got a young wide receiver core. Um, they just, I don't know, don't rush Cooper Cup back. Make sure he's 100% healthy. Obviously, like I said, you're a better team with Cooper Cup, but. You guys tell me your thoughts on the situation down below in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. See ya.